welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, Si Pittaway. And me, David Thomas. We've been contacted by Roger Crook of the Hunting Life Forum to calibrate his uh, scope of his rifle, which is a, a Hawk Map 6A, a Map 6A uh, Hawk scope. We're going to calibrate it from 10 yards out to 50 yards, which is the maximum range which Roger shoots on his permission. We're going to enter all the data into chair gun and hopefully Roger can shoot this uh, air rifle 0.22 as accurate as what me and Si have been shooting it this weekend. So without further ado, we'll take you to the action and we'll show you how we calibrate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Now what we're doing first then is because it's not mine or David's rifle and it belongs to Roger, uh, actually off the hunting live forum, we're not sure where it's zeroed at at the moment. So we've put a board at, at 27 yards, so 25 metres, uh, and we're going to uh, zero it uh, at that range first just with any brand of pellet we've got six different brands quality brands to test so we find out which is the best pellet for the rifles barrel uh, and then once we've done that we're going to chronograph it uh, get a real precise zero at 27 yards 25 meters uh, and then go out uh, shoot a further distance and then work out the ballistic coefficient of that pellet ready for his calibration so we can calibrate his uh, reticle so this is David now just establishing where zero is and we're using air arms hunter pellets at the moment which is the ones what came with uh, the rifle right we've got a rough zero now we've changed the target board and the first brand of pellets we're going to be using are air arms field and they're going to be the far left target we go for a five shot group this is just to establish which pellet uh, group the tightest so as long as the uh, the pellets land in a tight group that's what we're looking at because obviously after each brand or at each brand the zero will be different for each brand Five, yep. there, there's five then. Next brand we've loaded up with after cleaning the barrel is Webley Acupels. These are all 2-2 calibre pellets we're using. Are you ready mate? Is that it? That good group, say? So far then, the best group uh, we've got is from the Daystate Allies. And the last uh, brand of pellets we're going to test in 2.2 calibre are the H&N Field to Target Trophies and these are at 5.53 millimeter. That's the group, not bad. Okay, that's us uh, finished all them different groups. See. Right, what we're doing now is we've decided uh, 
we're going to go for three different brands. So we've got the Daystate Allies, the H&M Field Target and the RWS Super Field because they all give really tight groups. And we're going to shoot five shots from each brand. Now with filter, is it 160? 160, 160 bar. Filter 160 bar which is well in the sweet spot so the rifle is going to be at the most consistent and accurate power setting. Uh, and you'll see the chrono there. Which ones are you doing first? These the are LIs. the Daystate LIs. So yeah. the first five are going to be the Daystate LIs. Okay, whenever you're ready, mate. If you get an error, I'll just turn it off and back on again. Five shots. Yep. Right, one second. So what's what is that? Five. Five seven five point one. Yep. Five seven eight point three. Yep. 578.0 yeah that was a misfire 580.9 yep that's it is that it? What that's 1, there? 2, 3, 4, there should be another pellet yeah, that's right, yeah. what's happened there then? 585.6 585.6 Okay, right, there are the LIs So uh, we'll go for the super fields next Five eight one point seven. Yep Five eight zero point three. Yep Five seven eight point six. Yep 583.9 One more, yeah 587.3 And the last brand we're going to chrono the consistency is the H&M Whenever you're ready, mate 581.5 Yeah 587.1 Yeah 590.1 Yeah 587.6 Yeah 588.3 Okay, I'll look at the, the results and we'll see which is the most consistent right, what, What's happening now is David's just topping up again to 160 bar uh, and the results from the, t from the three brands H&M field target had a max variation of 8.6 feet per second. The RWS super field was almost identical at 8.7, uh, but the biggest deviation were the Daystate LIs at 10.5. And uh, I know you've got no reference at the moment, our actual size of this group, but I'm going to show you now by sticking a five pence piece over the four and you can just see there in the top corner half a diameter of a pellet just sticking out uh, so you can see now it's a pretty small group and I could probably nudge it over a little bit if need be like that to even make it less so a quarter of a diameter of a pellet so basically all four underneath a five pence piece and that's at 50 yards on the laser so you can see our pellet uh, analysis proves good at long range and it also just proves there's something I wasn't that sure of or I wasn't aware of to such a degree that difference between 8.6 feet per second and 8.7 so that 0.1 of a foot per second can make such a difference at 50 yards This pigeon's 50 yards. Davy's taking it with Rogers. Their arms says 410. Oh, lovely shot. And that's after our calibration. I'll just show you the distance to this. There you go. And if I come round, there's Davy. The Rogers rifle. How did that shoot after calibration? Bang on. Bang on, it was. There you go. You've got to be happy with that, Roger, haven't you? I'm at the bottom of the tree now, 
where that pigeon what David shot has just fallen and I can see from where I am it looks like he's got a perfect headshot and that are at 50 yards and that's using the calibration method we used as you saw well I've collected the pigeon now for Davy and hopefully you can see this uh, there was actually fluid dripping out the mouth and brain you can see it now off the beak of the pigeon and Davy's shot is absolutely perfect shot placement at 50 yards that's pretty amazing this pigeon's 43 yards on the laser good shot mate Half a mil dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah again. The trees going. Rogers S410 the right. with a map 6A reticle. Have a look at this. Shot placement. You should imagine it's smack on, mate, with the work we put in it yesterday. Straight from its head. Great shot, David. That's 54 yards. Oh, you made me laugh, Brett. I can't do it now. <laughs>